What's happening YouTube, it's your boy Tech Tricks back now with the video and today we're looking at the Mini IT11. Here we go. First things first, make sure to hit that subscribe button below, hit the notification bell so you can be notified of the next videos, come up tips and tricks and unboxing just like this one. Check out my merch below at 1130.ca. Hit that like button as well so we can beat that YouTube algorithm. Without further ado, let's go ahead and show you what the Mini IT11 can do. Basically, this is a mini PC with an Intel Core i7 has 500 gigabytes of SSD and also a 16 gigs of RAM. It looks promising. We're going to show you how well it does today. Here we go. Let's open this up. So packaging is really nice. As you can see there, we love We Pursue. This is the mini PC right here. Put that on aside for now. Thank you card, little mini bag so that you can travel with the uh, PC. Comes with the adapter as well. HDMI cable, power cord. It also comes with screws so that you can mount it on the back of your uh, monitor. There we go, little best amount there. And then finally the instruction manual. And that's really it. The instruction manual will tell you how to upgrade your RAM and also how to mount it on the back. It'll also tell you how to upgrade your SSD. Stick it off the plastic here. There it is. Stick off the front plastic here. Beautiful. Little plastic on the front as well. There it is. So on the very front here, there's the power button right there, headphone jack, USB 3 slot right there, and then the USB-C. On the side, there's an SSD card or TF card. On the other side, it comes with a lock. Uh, you can put a lock on there so that keep this secure. Of course, the side also has this uh, grill so that the air will flow through. And the back has where you plug in the power cord right there. It also comes with a mini display port, ethernet slot, Two USB A's right there, HDMI and uh, USB C. Pretty nice. Let's open up the top here. So, the top, as you could see, has this heat sink, which you could change as well. You customize this plate right here, which is really nice to see as well. If you want to replace the SSD and the RAM and upgrade it, you'll need to take off the bottoms. It comes with two eight gigs of stick right here makes it a 16 gig ram 500 gigs ssd right here 660p series by intel now it does come with an extra slot for the ssd right here you just put a normal 2.5 drive i have a one terabyte wd blue here that i've cut off right here so that it'll fit my automos Ninja 5, but uh, we're going to test it out with this one. Let's see how well it does. Um, with it being cut off like that, it does have a little bit of allowance here. So I'm pretty sure you could fit a normal SSD drive on there. In comparison, this is a normal 250 gigs. Um, not an SSD, just a normal um, disk drive. As you can see, it's able to fit that. Put all the way there. Putting it back is really easy as well. Slap it on like so. Tighten the four screws on the side. And that's really it. As mentioned earlier, it has the i7-1195G7, which has a four core and eight threads, which is definitely enough for gaming and also different everyday tasks. I would even say that you can edit 4K videos on this because of the higher RAM. And also, we're gonna see a benchmark later uh, to test it out compared with the MacBook Air M1. And as you can see here on our device manager, it has eight core Intel i7s here, which is really nice. It also comes with Wi-Fi 6, and the SSD speed is really high as well. As you can see there, the speed on the read is about 1500 megabytes per second. And the write is about 974 megabytes per second, which is really awesome, quick and fast. Now using the Geekom Mini 
IT11 here with a single core of 1565 and multi score score of 4534, which is pretty decent actually. Now, I ran a Cinebench as well on the Mini IT11, and the score that we get for multi score is 5123, and the single core is 1474. Really great results as well. Now, I went to YouTube and played a 4K video on the Mini IT11 and I was able to get great results with no lag whatsoever. I was able to play it from start to end without any lag whatsoever, even having a few browsers uh, turned on on the background, which is really awesome. Now here's another 4K footage that I've taken on my Mini 3 Pro, and I'm playing this video straight on to the uh, Mini IT11, and it, it had no problems whatsoever playing the video. Now taking the same video and we'll add more LUTs on it using DaVinci Resolve on our Mini IT11. As you could see, it's buttery smooth. It has no lag whatsoever. And I'm pretty impressed actually when I was trying to edit and color this footage that we just had. Now rendering didn't take that long as well and this is the result. I'm pretty impressed actually with the result and also how fast the DaVinci Resolve, just a free version, worked on the Mini IT11. Now let's try playing Snowbird. Um, again, this is about a medium uh, resolution here. Um, I only have a uh, 1080p screen as well. My monitor is only 1080p. so. The quality is pretty nice, um, there is no lag whatsoever, so definitely usable to play it on a um, you know, pretty intense game. Um, it doesn't have a dedicated graphics card, so I would like to be mindful of that. Uh, some games won't run as smoothly as if, there, if you had a, you know, a GPU, a dedicated GPU. This is only using the i7 mainly for the GPU. Now it did well with a single player game. How about on a multiplayer game? So here's Battlefield 5 playing online right now. And um, as you can see, uh, it's able to do well as well. For my taste, I think it could be a little bit faster, especially um, if it has a dedicated GPU, it would help a lot. But um, for the most part, it is very usable. Now another takeaway with the Mini IT11 is that you can do up to four displays here, which is really good for a small device. Pretty impressed by this as well. One takeaway though, it does get heat up a lot, so just be aware of that. And that's it for today everyone, thanks for watching. I hope I was able to help you on your choice on a brand new Mini IT11 a PC for your home. Mini PC perhaps with Geekom are really good they have been reliable for me i've, tried, I've tested out multiple uh, mini mini air 11s as well so that's really good let me know in the comments below if you want to get one of these um there's going to be a link down in the description below affiliate link it does help the channel a lot uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel hit that like button as well so we can beat that youtube algorithm i hope you guys have a good day and stay grateful peace